Let's talk about your experience with the Turners. Why don't you explain what Turner Halls were? Turner Hall was a, uh, Turner Hall was a Swiss organization where they did some athletics. Uh, we worked on side horse, horizontal and parallel bar, tumbling, wrestling. And uh, it was a group of men and women, young men and women, and it was very, very good. And there was one in Monroe. There was one in Monroe, and it, the Turner Hall is still there, but the athletics are gone. And how did you become involved in that, and when? Uh, it was in the late 40s I got involved with that with the, the Graber brothers, Otto and Permine. They were in there, and they invited us to join, and we did. Our whole family at one time was in there. Even Lou? Yes. He probably didn't stay in it too long. Well, he was in there a while, so he, may, he knew what made it tick. Yes. yes. And uh, before you became involved with the Turners, did you participate in any other sports or work out with weights or anything? No. Nothing? No. No. And when you started training with them, how often would you go? Every Tuesday night, the year round. And what did you start out learning with them? Uh, doing some work on horizontal and parallel bar. And a little tumbling, but not too much at first. And how and when did you get into the hand balancing? Well, that was a part of it. Some of the members were hand balancers. They could uh, stand on their hands on the parallel bars and so on. And then I just took it from there and just kept working on it. Uh, I probably did more handstands than anybody there. But it took me a long, long time to accomplish anything, but I just kept at it. And who were some of your instructors? Uh, Leroy Wittrick was an instructor, and Eddie Kradiger, and uh, Fritz Kradiger, uh, Ernie Isley. Is, is that the one that knocked you down? Yes, Ernie Isley. <laughs> Ernie Isley. I was clowning around on the mat, and he was standing there with his arms crossed, and he says, I can knock you down without taking my hands out of my pocket. And I laughed, and he put his head down and charged forward and hit me in the pit of the stomach with his head, and I was laying flat out on the mat. <laughs> he was a good man and a good instructor. <laughs> and it, where did you get the idea to stand on your hands uh, on, on the chair with the glasses or the bottles or whatever they were. Uh, I saw that first done by this instructor Ernie Isley at an exhibition. He had three beer bottles and he set a kitchen chair on there, a round back kitchen chair, on three of the legs. And I kept working so I could do that also. And how long did it take you to master that? Well, after I had the uh, confidence and the know-how what really makes a handstand tick, it didn't take me long at all, and I felt comfortable. And in all the years that I hand balanced, I never fell out of a handstand. I have never fallen out of a handstand. The secret there is if you go too far, you just keep one arm straight and stiff and pivot your body around it and land on your feet. It's as simple as that. Of course, when you're up on top of a chair, on top of a table and three water tumblers, <laughs> you try you try to avoid that situation. <laughs> Where are some other interesting places that you would stand on your hands? Oh, on top of a silo roof on the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Is that where somebody asked you, weren't you afraid you were going to fall off? Yeah, I was afraid I was going to fall off. I says, fall off hell. 
It'd take two pretty good men to pull me <laughs> off of there. But I knew what I was doing and I was comfortable doing it. And how long did, were you able to continue standing on your hands? The last time I stood on my hands was I was 78 <laughs> years old. Yes. And when you were with the Turners and you were doing exhibitions, um, tell us about what you would do at the, the, for the finale of the show. That was in a tumbling. We had a tumbling routine. Leroy and Bob Wietrich and Mike Wietrich and Dwayne Schwartz and I. They had me there mostly for the power, but the, for the big finale, I carried four people. One fellow was on my neck and I had one man under each arm and the fourth guy was hanging on behind somewhere. And I walked off the stage with these four men in tow. Uh, which was quite a feat because the total weight, my weight and all the other weight was something over 800 pounds. And you also wrestled with the Oh uh, Yes, the we used to wrestle the Swiss style. Which, how is that different than regular wrestling? Well, it's, real, it's a little hard to explain, but uh, Swiss style wrestling has been around for mm -hmm. forever in, in Switzerland. And uh, that was part of the uh, training and everything in Turner Hall. So I was competing there for a number of years and I got first place twice, I think, in 49 and 50, I believe it was. So, and what prizes did they give you when you won? <laughs> well, the first time I won first place, I got a, a watch, a Swiss watch. And the next time I won first place, I picked the uh, silverware, a uh, nice box of silverware that Wanda and I have used now, I have had that for 70 years, or nearly so, yeah. So, and it's still good. It'll be good when I'm gone and forgotten. <laughs>